guys. Uh, for all the Jeep owners out there, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial of my Jeep and how I have it set up. I'm gonna walk through what I just did and why I'm setting it up for my camping trip this Friday uh, here in Virginia. Nothing crazy, just getting it started. Uh, had to get a frame first as I have a soft top for this Rubicon since 2003. So I had to find a way to put a hammock inside or if I was gonna put a, a tent on top, which is still an option for down the road. But temporarily, because of my time crunch, I had to figure out something different. So right now what I did is I got the frame and it installed it within about uh, three to four hours. I did have to get two special tools from AutoZone. The mechanical wrench or bit was one of the hardest things to get uh, around here. After that, uh, after installing it, basically you have to take these parts out, put new screws in, take the bottom of the bumper out, put new screws in, um, other, and then put everything else assembled. Added the uh, hammock right here. All this is is one simple little hammock, no additional stuff to it. Attach the hammock to itself with the carabiner that it comes with, and that was it. Went through the door, because when I had the windows up and the AC, the heater on, I'm gonna stay warm inside. Well, warm-ish. Okay, so I have an awning that I got from the Military Surplus, this little uh, frame, and the mobile bench is also from the Military Surplus. However, uh, y'all can get them online, used, a lot of used uh, military stuff, or uh, survival gear, so you can go to the different survival websites. They have a, a various type of benches that are mobile and stuff like that. I like the mobile system only because I wanna put it on my rack and have a really low pro of how I have one it set up. So I'm a kind of a minimalist, I don't like bulk, so if I could take this small Jeep and actually, no kidding, uh, camp out of it, fish out of it, I put my kayak on it, even my Jeep's low profile. I have a Hobie Revolution, y'all see it in some of my other videos. So my main goal is just like, no kidding, just be as minimalist as possible, but still uh, serve its function. Uh, the frame was a, a key to that. This, this frame here drops down really small, the tables drop down really small, but they're heavy duty. This tarp right here, this is from my actual Hennessy uh, hammock. The Hennessy hammock, this is the waterproof tarp that goes over it, and you can sleep inside the, the hammock. Um, I will bring that depending um, if it's like mosquito time, in summer, and I'm up in the, the mountains or something, definitely want to have that protection. But because it's cold and the fields are, are not really out, I could definitely deal with a simple uh, hammock like this, and I could go outdoors or indoors. Because the weather's still cold right now, it's uh, March, in Virginia, so it gets about 40 still. Sometimes drops down to the mid or high 30s. Um, this Saturday should be around uh, mid or high 40s. I actually shouldn't be too bad. But you can see, it goes through there. I did not need to take out the seat. Um, you can take out the seat. However, uh, I was actually able to have this up. Just like that. As you can see in here, this gap right here, the, tent, the hammock does not uh, bother me at all. I put my head on this direction, my feet on that direction, and this is perfect. You get the truck running, get the heater going, and you're good. Uh, where is it at? That right there is my inverter. So the inverter hooks into the uh, uh, AC power in the front of the truck, and I can plug in any uh, DC type setup with that. So if you want to hook up your iPhones, uh, chargers, or something like that, you can. And there it is, this is simple. Again, hammock wrapped around into here over the frame so it doesn't uh, bend into your soft top that's pretty much it it's actually not that complicated um oh just a side note if you had never had a uh, yak attack rail system and the ram ball there's a little ram ball right there with the iphone mount or uh, any kind of other cool mounts like cup holders for jeeps awesome man because y'all can put a rail there you can put a rail here you can put a rail everywhere so anyways um I just thought those things are cool. That's one of the first things that I added because I thought I needed, as you can tell, there's no really good cup holders. There's supposed to down there. But I want to know from my phone right when I'm driving. So my old, old setup right there. All right, y'all. This is a quick little tutorial. Um, sorry, I'll probably get a more detailed one later. But uh, hopefully this was enough to get y'all some ideas of what I'm doing. I do plan to get more creative. I will be putting a, a wooden waterproof board against there with a drop down platform for my like mobile table and uh you know right be able to do cooking and put my uh my burners and stuff on there so i can have a mobile stove i guess but yeah all right any questions let me know leave comments below and uh i'll probably try to do a better video later this is kind of a rush job but uh, i just want to kind of get some kind of content out there so you can see what i got and that is my whole system right there for my kayak i take that put in my kayak i'm ready to go everything i need is in there
said, I like minimalist. So if y'all are kayakers out there and you got a whole bunch of stuff in your kayak, just know that you can drop it down to a minimal. Hey, just that right there. Um, paddle, light, my pedal, pedal, uh, the dang propulsion for the Mirage Drive for the Hobie Revolution, everything right there. So, all right, y'all. 